welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and drop a comment down below on videos you'd like to see in this video it's going to be a another kind of feed room storage room revamp again um so in my last last one i did all of this like painted and everything like that that was like a year ago and now i'm just revamping some of the stuff that's in it so i have a nice unit from ikea but it doesn't have a door on it so where i keep the hay in here it gets really really dusty in there so all the drawers get dusty everything in the drawers gets dusty and it's just annoying so i am going to put a door on there so i have to obviously make a door because i went to ikea and they said they don't do doors for that cabinet so I have made a door and I will show you everything that I did and I am very happy with it so hopefully you will think it's cool too so stay tuned for that hey guys so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made a door for this unit that you see here this is a unit from Ikea I'm not 100% sure what it's called but I will try and find it and pop it up I was just getting fed up with having the hay because I keep the hay in there and the dust going all in the drawers and everything was just covered so here I am I have cut one door already and then I used that one to map out this one and I did start the cut off with the hand saw found it was easier and then I continued with the jigsaw so I have got glasses on here just so nothing goes up into my face and just be careful as you should be when using power tools and oh my god i've just started watching teen wolf again so i used to watch it and then i can't remember what series i got up to and then i did i didn't watch it because i did realize it was back on so I just started watching it from the beginning on netflix and i'm very much enjoying myself so here next i'm just making sure that the door is as kind of even as possible because I do it needs to move back a little hang over on one side a little bit so here I am just popping the hinges on um so now I'm just drilling the holes into the side of the unit and I do um screwing one hole on the door just so I can get all of the other um, brackets in because I did put three so I did screw one in here just so it wouldn't move and I could get them all lined up how I wanted them so here I am just doing that so it's all lined up so that it will not move um, otherwise it would have been very very dodgy to try and do it without one holding it on because it just would have moved and then it wouldn't have been even so here i am just painting the door in a white color just to do a base coat um, just really so i don't have to do as many coats of the blue because I won't be having to kind of camouflage the brown so I pretty much did quite a thick coat of this and I did make sure to go all around the edges um, like underneath from the sides so that everything was as even as possible and there was no brown showing through
So here I am now that the paint has dried, I am screwing all of the brackets into the door so that it is fully on now so because I'm going to paint around that I just wanted to get all of the base colour on before I screwed them in so here I am just screwing them in and here I'm just testing it to make sure that it all opens nicely and it did so I just tightened up some of the screws just to make sure that everything was on there okay and now this is the paint that I am using I didn't have any more of the paint that I used for the wall so I got this and I hoped that it was quite close it looks quite close and it actually was so I am just popping that on the door and holding it shut with my foot Talking in code, no reason Why you got me on hold, I'm beeping I knew something was ignited When you left, I wanted more All And then I also painted the inside And I also painted the door that is on at the back Because obviously I had <clears throat> Because I had two bits of wood I decided to do a back for it as well so that is the back that you can see um, and I do paint that blue as well just so it all matches so here I am just doing a second coat you can kind of see how streaky the first coat was down at the bottom so I did do a second coat just to get everything nice and evened out and it did look very nice after that so I only did need two coats. So here I am just putting on the mechanism of how I want to open it so this is kind of like a pushing mechani mechanism so it holds the door shut with a magnet and then when you push the door the spring loading opens the door and then when you shut the door it keeps it shut like it clicks back into place so i decided on this one because i just thought it'd be easier than having like a handle or anything like that i think it looks nicer without a handle and obviously i did want it to keep shut i didn't want it to be just open kind of just pulled to itself so i decided to get one of these i did order these off of Amazon you got two in a pack um, I only used it for the front door the back one is against the wall so I didn't bother doing anything with that one so here I am just marking the magnet on with some what's it called some permanent marker and then I just shut the door so that I got the permanent marker where the magnet needed to be on the side of the door so doing that, it showed me where the magnet needs to be. So I then just screwed in the kind of magnet plate that will go on the door. And it is really, really easy then to line them up and get exactly where it needed to go. The screw was a bit long for this door, so I did end up unscrewing it and cutting part of the screw off just so it sat a little bit more flush so this is the finished unit so I'll show you how it works so you just pop push that in and it springs open that drawer is uneven I didn't realize it at the time and then to shut it you just push it back in and it clicks in 
hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and i'll leave the subscribe button up here hope you enjoyed the video bye guys